everybody, and good afternoon. This is Mike Aaron Hersterbomer uh, here from Extivia for another edition of our CRM Snack Time Snippets. Uh, joining me as usual, almost always, um, is uh, my colleague, Zach Bodine, the Vice President of CRM here within Extivia. Um, and here for today's topic, uh, we're going to be covering another Salesforce product line. Um, more on the marketing side of the business, but uh, what we're going to be talking about today mainly is really the Salesforce Pardot solution. Um, so on a previous installment, um, if you already had checked it out, thank you for joining. If not, go back and look at that one first. Uh, we had talked pretty in-depthly about the Salesforce Marketing Cloud solution. So today we're going to be talking about the Salesforce Pardot solution. Both of them are marketing tools um, that are owned by Salesforce. Um, Zach is going to talk to you a little bit today about <clears throat> kind of what Pardot is, um, what it's more of a, I guess I would say a focused marketing solution, um, automated solution versus marketing cloud. It's kind of a whole suite of tools and products that you can kind of utilize, whereas Pardot's a little bit more focused. Um, so he's going to talk to you a little bit about that. Some use cases I'll touch on from a sales guy, how um, you know I find it useful within our Salesforce and so on and so forth. Um, and then if you've been checking out the news or headlines recently around Salesforce, they've also um, brought some uh, changes to Pardot here very recently as well. So Zach will break that news to you if you haven't seen it um, or if you have, I'll touch on that for a second. So, uh, but again, everybody, thanks for joining as always. And I'm gonna hand it to Zach to start talking about Pardot. Thanks, Mike. So, um, thank you. Uh, the I guess what we'll talk about first is uh, a little bit about the differences between Marketing Cloud and Pardot. Um, and uh, we we have a segment we've done in the past about Marketing Cloud. You can probably find that on the Extivia, um, our, our website, um, also on uh, some of our LinkedIn profiles. So uh, the biggest difference is. Pardot is exclusively for B2B uh, lead nurturing, um, business to business. Uh, Marketing Cloud is primarily used for B2C, but it can be used for B2B as well. So when you think about this, um, you know, B2B is if you're in sales and you're doing business to business you, and you're thinking about your Salesforce environment, you have... A lot, you, you might think you have a lot of leads, customers, opportunities in your system, and, and you probably do. But from a B2C type environment, you probably have like a fraction of the leads, accounts, customers that you have in a B2C environment. So like Coca-Cola, you know, has endless customers, whereas, um, you know, uh, a, a business working business to business only has those accounts that they're working with. So that's, that's one big change is just the size of your customers in your database and also like the sales process associated with those. Um, Pardot um, is, is uh, also uh, exclusively, uh, well, it's not exclusively, it's, it's lead nurturing via email marketing and then also uh, web forms. Um, so you can have uh, landing pages. So, you know, that, those are the two primary ways that you're bringing uh, new leads into your system is you're having them do form fills via landing pages that maybe you're positioning via Google AdWords. Um, and then another way is doing email marketing to those individuals and then hoping to drive them in uh, further and nurture them further in your lead path to then opportunity to then conversion uh, or making a sale. Uh, marketing Cloud uh, does email automation. It does um, form fills, but it also has a, an advertising studio and it has a mobile studio. So you can do text messaging, uh, marketing, and then also, you know, designing robust um, uh, advertising in, in the marketing cloud. So it's, it's bigger, uh, it's a bigger element um, than Pardot, which is why the investment cost is typically higher in marketing cloud than Pardot. Now, um, the interesting thing is that just a few days ago, uh, Pardot uh, is re being renamed um, and it's being renamed, uh, let's see, um, it, Marketing Cloud Account Engagement. So I think part of this is Salesforce is trying to position everything marketing to now come through, um, you know, one big 
umbrella of marketing cloud. So you have, you know, uh, marketing cloud account engagement versus just traditional marketing cloud. So my guess is uh, long term, they're going to roll Pardot into marketing cloud and position it as a product within marketing cloud. And they don't, you know, I think a lot of times they were having to sell against each other in the organization because you had a Pardot rep for Salesforce selling against marketing cloud. And now they're trying, they don't, they don't want to do that anymore. They want to just sell you marketing cloud and part of is just a product within marketing cloud. So I think that's a big part of it. And I'm sure there's some um, secret secretencies they can also develop within this. So um, email uh, lead nurturing uh, marketing. So, uh, so primarily uh, within Pardot, um, you can have, you know, uh, you have a, you want to bring, you want to create a, a web form or a landing page. You can design that within Pardot. Uh, you can then start doing Google AdWords to uh, present customers when they Google, you know, specific keywords. Your landing page pops up. You get the customer to do a form fill. That creates a lead in your Salesforce environment. So that's a popular use of Pardot. Um, you can have, of course, several different landing pages, web forms. Uh, you can also just have these uh, displayed on your website. So that way you can take this landing page, embed it in your website. When someone visits your website in general, not just through Google AdWords, they can be driven uh, to your, um, to, to do a form fill, to then create a lead in your Salesforce environment. Once they are a lead in your Salesforce environment, you can then do lead nurturing. So depending on where they are in your lead process, you know, or different criteria that they've met in your, in your Salesforce environment, uh, you can then design different, um, different triggers to send different um, emails to your customers that are targeted for you know, their industry um, or, or their status of, of where they are in your process. So you want to give meaningful content delivered to these, individ to these customers uh, or prospective customers um, versus just you know, not having a plan and sending them just general you know, marketing content. So um, that's another big, you know, th those both exist in Marketing Cloud and Pardot, but Pardot is just, um, you know, it's, it's a feature of Pardot. Uh, additionally, um, they have the ability for salespeople to manually, um, to manually activate uh, prospect prospects or customers and say, you know, this is, this is an existing customer, but maybe they haven't done business with us in three years. They're not a new lead, um, but I want them to start getting some Pardot, you know, emails. And so there's a manual component where sales reps, and Mike, I think you've used this before, you can like opt a customer in to then start receiving these emails. Um, and, and, then, uh, and then they're also, all the templates that you build for Pardot are available um, within the sales, uh, the sale, Salesforce environment. So if you're on a contact and you want to manually send someone um, you know, their first uh, email marketing um, thing, you can have those predefined templates for the sales uh, rep to select to then send these, um, these email marketing out. Maybe you can talk about opting customers in, Mike. Yeah, it's just kind of nice because I mean, you know, I don't want to, nobody does, but especially as like a salesperson, you don't want to have to do a bunch more manual work in the system, you know, takes time away from doing other things. Um, but yeah. there's really not much effort doing that. Right. So if I bring on a new customer and I want to enroll them in some, uh, you know, email sequencing or just, they have a piece of content that they're interested in that I know we have already set up in our system, then it's just a matter of a couple of clicks and <clears throat> I can enroll them in and start setting up that content. And the other cool thing, like as a sales rep, when I go to like one of the leads that's assigned to me, uh, their record in our Salesforce or one of the con one of my contacts, whatever it is, I can actually when I'm on their record in Salesforce, see all of the like email history within Pardot right there on their record. So like if I want to know, like if I know marketing has got a new campaign going out about a specific product or offering, whatever it is. I can go into that contact or that leads record and I can see one, if they received that email and two, did they interact with it? So, you know, did they open it? Did they click any links in there? 
and that right. kind of sets me up for my day, sets me up for my week, because then I know the right people that I need to be following up with or what are just based on one, if they were in the email and two, how they interact with it, if they did interact with it at all. So it's it's nice being able to see all of that information because I'm in, you know, sales cloud or sales club literally nonstop every day. So right. being able to have all that in one spot makes it a lot easier and saves me a lot of time. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. That kind of I kind of glossed over this, but uh, Pardot is a uh, is a package that you would install in your Salesforce environment. So it doesn't operate like independently from Salesforce. Once you purchase it, it's now inside Salesforce, and now you're managing it within Salesforce platform. Um, it's not like you have to go to this other application, which is completely separate from Salesforce, and then configure integration elements. Um, so that's that makes it you know nice and seamless and why it's a popular solution for existing Salesforce customers. Um, so there is a, uh, a ni another nice feature about, you know, you're going to have automation where you want to send op these leads or existing customers into the Pardot engine to then start, um, you know, sending them these targeted emails or email campaigns. Um, there is, you know, Salesforce does charge uh, based upon how many how many customers do you want to send emails out to and how frequently are you going to be sending these emails out to? So the larger your list is, then the, the more they might charge you for those services, which is why uh, a lot of, uh, we recommend to customers, you know, it's good to do automation, but make sure your automation is really targeted for just, you know, something that's going to add value. And then separately, that's why it's nice to give the salesperson some like opt in option where like they're, they're selecting the ones that really they think will make a difference versus just wholesale selecting all of the contacts or leads in your organization and start marketing them. Um, that's not a, a great strategy. And it also isn't really uh, you know, a good financially solution viable uh, option because Salesforce charges you to have all those people in, uh, in your marketing engine. Um, so yeah, within Pardot also, you, you'll have different lists. So like you'll have a campaign and that campaign will be targeting this list. Uh, these are all the people that, you know, meet these requirements. And now I want to send them this marketing campaign. And so that it helps you, you're able to build those lists out as well based upon that criteria. So um, that's really uh, Pardot in a nutshell. There are some other competitors out there. Uh, HubSpot is a popular one. Um, they are, um, you know, an email marketing solution. Uh, we actually even have some experience with them, but um, uh, you know the the thing with HubSpot is then it's a separate application, and then you have to write the rules in HubSpot about how it will interact with Salesforce. Whereas some of that happens naturally with Pardot because you actually download it, install it inside Salesforce. Um, so that's that's probably the primary difference between those two. Um, but they are obviously um, you know competitors in the email marketing space. Well, thank you, Zach. Always uh, interesting and informative as always. So we really appreciate it. So, um, and for all of you out there, thank you as always for attending our CRM Snack Time Snippet Series. Um, if you ever want to know more about Pardot or Marketing Cloud, either one, because they are kind of similar and can be a little confusing, um, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Uh, for Zach, this is Mike. And thanks again for joining us for another Extivia CRM Snack Time Snippet. Thanks.